After all their years of hard work and dedication, newly minted college graduates are entering the workforce with high hopes for the future. But facing staggering inflation and the return to in-person work, many are experiencing higher stress levels than they may have expected. ABC's M. Wynn brings us their stories and tells us about a new method called proactive coping. Post undergrad, I, I was not expecting it to be that difficult. Like I didn't take it into account. Between a global pandemic and an economic crisis, young adults say they're stressed. Inflation and everything is just seems more and more daunting. While only some experts believe the country is already in a recession, a lot of Americans have experienced financial woes in recent years. Inflation reached 9.1% in 2022, the highest yearly increase in over 40 years. The cost of housing is rising. Um, Education payments are rising, food, like all sorts of stuff, but we aren't seeing salaries and wages rise. Adding to the uncertainty, an unstable job market making finding work even more challenging. We were attempting to enter the career field at a very weird, unique, unstable time. The COVID-19 pandemic also increasing social anxiety. Lockdowns caused many college grads to finish school virtually, with many entering the workforce in person, adding to their stress levels. It can be really um, intimidating to then try to go into a space that I've never seen or never been in before. Young adults are at a place in their lives where they're constantly encountering new stressors and they're trying to figure out what the best strategies are to deal with them. Psychology professor Siobhan Newpert recently analyzed two separate studies on proactive coping steps one can take to avoid future stressors or prepare for stressful events before they occur. These include saving money for unexpected expenses, visualizing how to deal with potential challenges, or thinking about what you need to do in order to be successful. We found that the younger adults who really tended to do a lot of proactive coping, they did not experience as much of the physical consequences of those stressors. They were able to remain more physically healthy. However, both studies found it had no effect on older adults, suggesting it is beneficial to begin practicing proactive coping at a younger age. M1 ABC News, Washington.